We are going to dive into a great tool for you guys to be able to use to be able to live stream on multiple platforms. What is up my people? Welcome back to your favorite DJ here on YouTube. Hey, today we are going to have some fun guys because one of the things that I have been doing since quarantine has begun is filling my head full of knowledge. And I have learned so many things since we've been quarantined. I mean, things about social media, things about YouTube, things about live streams. And today, speaking of live streams, we are going to dive into a great tool for you guys to be able to use to be able to live stream on multiple platforms. We are going to dive into a source called Restream. Now, Restream just really allows you to be able to live stream, whether it be DJ sets, podcasts, whatever else you may use your platform for to be able to broadcast at one time on multiple platforms, which is pretty cool. So I know you've seen some guys who have been live streaming. They've said stuff like go follow me on Twitch, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. I mean, they're all there. And it was a pain in the butt at first because you want to do one here and one here. And it was like, is there a tool where I can just do this all at once? And the answer to that question is yes, there is a tool. So let's dive right into that right now. And let's show you guys what I'm talking about. So here's the website right here. It is restream.io. And uh, that's all you type in. And then you are led to a login screen where you create a username and password. And then you'll be led to this screen. Now, Granted, I've already set this up and stuff on here, so I'm just gonna go over it to let you know what you'll have to set up here and stuff first. So the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to make sure that you have all the information for your other platforms that you're gonna wanna stream to. So right here, I'll give you an example. I have three of my platforms right here. I've got Facebook, I've got YouTube, and I've got Twitch and everything right here. So basically, I just had to click on Add Channel, and you're gonna go see here that these are all the different social media live stream platforms that Restream offers to be able to live stream to. So you'll see that Facebook is here, Twitch is here, YouTube is here, but you'll notice that one is missing. They have not set up some type of affiliation and stuff with Instagram yet. So you won't be able to go directly to Instagram, but you can use these other platforms on here. Now, if they update it, you can always come back to add channel and then you can see if you can add Instagram at a later time. But basically you click on it and then log into that particular account. So if it's YouTube, you're just gonna log into YouTube when it prompts you and stuff on here and it'll list it. Now, before you get started, you wanna make sure that you have all of the platforms toggled on. So you can hit the on button up here and you'll see all of them kind of come to life on here. So once these are on, that's how you know that once you start live streaming, you will go it'll go directly to these platforms and they will be online. You wanna copy this link right here and you're gonna put it into your streaming platform, whether it be OBS, whether it be you know, other streamers on here. I just know that OBS is probably one of the more popular ones. So I'm actually gonna demonstrate it on OBS here for you so you can see it. So basically you're gonna copy that and then you're gonna come over here to OBS. And you can see I have nothing set up and stuff on here. I'm not gonna go through how to set up all that here. Then you wanna come down to settings and you wanna go to stream. And then right here is where you're gonna put your service at. So you're gonna click on your service here and then your server is gonna be the one that's closest to you. And then it's gonna ask you to get your stream key. So that stream key is found right here. So you can either click this right here and you'll see the stream key was copied to the clipboard. Come back here, get rid of that one, put the other one in and you hit OK. Now, what that is telling OBS to do is to communicate with Restream. So now when you hit the Start Streaming button, it automatically communicates with Restream 
and it's going to make these services go online. So it sends it, you probably want to give it a second. So you definitely want to probably log on to this thing well before it's time and maybe give yourself a countdown to kind of give you a little bit of time to make sure that you're up and you're ready to go. So, but basically it's going to load information into here. You'll see each one of these switch to online, online, and online. That's how you know that you're ready to go on all of the formats that you have selected. Once you have done that, and your clock stops on OBS and you've gone live, everything will be shown right here on Restream. And that's it. I mean, that's really all you have to do. It is so simple. Once you do it once, I guarantee you, this stuff will already be set up and you won't have to do it again. The only thing that you would have to update is stuff like your titles. Like I hit update titles here and you can change like the name of the actual stream and the description and you can update all the formats to be able to show that or you can just update one of them. Doesn't matter. You can also turn them off individually. So if I go back here, you stream to Twitch that day. I could turn Twitch off and still just stream to these two. Or if I didn't want to go to Facebook and just do YouTube, I mean, you would probably just go over to YouTube. But if you wanted to do more than one, this allows you to do so, but you can just do one if you wanted to. Another great thing as far as Restream goes is where well, you say, how can we implement the chat and stuff on here? Well. When you have Twitch and you have YouTube and you have Facebook, people are gonna to talk to you. People are gonna to try to say something to you while you're actually doing your thing on the live stream. So basically what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to the three dots and you wanna click on chat. Now when you click on chat, you can see that you download this on here for the Mac. As you can see, it looks like it's a Mac program on here. Sorry, Windows guys but it's a Mac program, so you're gonna click on download for Mac, and it's gonna take you, after you get finished doing everything, it's gonna take you to this little window right here. See this window here? So this window right here, after you set it up, this allows for all of the services that you want to stream to, to be integrated, and you can see them talk on this chat room. So if they do it, from, it doesn't matter what platform they do it from. You can have somebody say, hey man, that was really good on Facebook. Have somebody else on Twitch say, dude, I didn't know you were going live. And it will all show up in this same chat. So once you respond, you're pretty much responding on all three. Like they can see it all over the place if you have somebody that responds or if you respond. So that's pretty cool. I like the fact that you can integrate that makes total total sense to be able to do so i really really like restream for putting that together because i mean you guys have seen it on some of my live feeds it it really really helps when i can focus more on what i'm doing and maybe you know type in a couple words here and there and let that be that but it just makes it totally easy trust me you're gonna love it now if you wanted to add multiple versions of you know, if you have two Facebooks or if you have uh, two YouTubes or if you have an upgraded version of one advertising page or, you know, if you have your regular Facebook and then a promotional page, you would only be able to be allowed to put one of each of the streams source on here at a top. So, like I said, so for Facebook, if I had two things on here, I would only be able to put one of them on here without having to pay. These are all free. Like this whole thing is free until you want to do, until you want to start doubling up. If you want to upgrade it, you can go right here and you can upgrade it and that will allow you to be able to add multiple ones if you have multiple sources. One thing that it does that YouTube doesn't is spread out the sources, which makes all the difference when you're trying to reach a bigger audience. If you have a bigger audience on you know, one platform versus the other, but you're trying to still, you don't want to just target one of them. You can target all of them, which is really cool. And hopefully one day they'll put IG on here. So I hope that that was informative and stuff to you. I hope that you learned something here because I know I did and I want to share that information and stuff with you. And uh, here's the website and everything here again. Remember, it is a free service, so you don't have to pay anything if you're just putting on, you know, individual platforms and not trying to double up on them. You don't have to pay anything. So, you know, we're all about saving that all money dollar because it is tough times ahead. All right, guys, if you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up on the video. Please, please, please do so because it really helps push this particular video 
out to others if you guys do that because that's the way that YouTube works. Hey, it's just the way it works. Also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do so because there are a lot of opportunities to learn new stuff on here. I've got some more new stuff that I learned that I want to pass on to you guys and just share the well. Turn on your post notifications and stuff as well so you know when I put out another video so that you won't miss out because I hate for you to miss a video that could have really helped you out. I see a lot of you guys post on my YouTube page that, you know, the video helped you out and it's like two, three, maybe even a month, four months later. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and everything here, guys. I'll answer as many questions and stuff as I can. Leave me a comment and stuff down below if you have any questions and please feel free to do so because, hey, I'm an open book. All right, guys, I'm getting out of here. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for joining me. And if you don't know, now you know. Peace, my people. Yes, sir.